a photo of a cardboard foil board that I built in my garage. And this is me on a beach in Hawaii, standing next to Kai Lenny, who's about to test my cardboard foil. But how did this photo come to be? Well, this morning I went out and gathered all the supplies I would need, and what I want to make out of these is called a foil board. A foil board is a type of surfboard equipped with a hydrofoil, which is a wing-like structure underneath the board that lifts it above the water's surface. This design allows the rider to experience a smooth and exhilarating ride as the foil flies the rider above the water. But how does it work? How does this thing lift out of the water? Just like an aeroplane, you'll gain speed. There's high pressure and low pressure which go over the wick, which creates lift. And then you need to basically counteract that rise with just a little bit of front foot pressure. This is a cardboard katana, and I'm thinking about making the construction for most of the foil board pretty much exactly how I made this. But before we get into all that, I have to learn how to actually ride a foil board. So I spent the last three months learning how to ride one. Big thanks to NZ Foil Center for hooking it up. Make sure to go check them out if you're ever in Auckland. Yeah! yeah. So that's what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's still going. Oh, <laughs> that turn was dope. Did you hear it too? Yeah, yeah. Are you ready? Yep. Oh. All right. Oh. oh. After everyone giving the foil a go and no one succeeding, it quickly became apparent that this was going to be harder than I thought. Oh, that's that's not what you want to happen. <laughs> no. Session number three. Around this point, something just clicked, and I could keep pumping the foil as long as my legs could go. So now I could ride a foil. It was time to build one. The first step is rolling out all of this cardboard, which is gonna take like 10 years to do. So I better get started now. So hopefully this is all the cardboard that we're going to need to make the actual foil part. The main wing, the rear wing, and the mast. And both of these pieces I'm going to stick together to make the fuselage. And the thing about trying to build a foil is every part needs to be freaking strong. <laughs> if there's one part that isn't as strong, it's going to snap. I usually go into videos with a pretty strong idea that it's going to work. This one... I don't know. <laughs> Um, all the buckets fell over, so, yeah. Now we need to make the actual board parts of the foil boards. We're here at the cardboard shop, look at all of this. They have a cardboard wall. The guy brought out a cardboard chair. I think that guy is me when I'm older. We've got it. cardboard sheets, now we have to go get it laser cut by Jeff. Now it's pretty much just putting them all together like a giant Lego set. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, no! Turn it! Turn it! Spread. You're a spreading machine. <laughs> the really cool thing about these boards is if you put them up to the sky, they're like see-through. Oh, that's so sick. <laughs> it's like a piece of wood. Oh, yeah? <laughs> now we're going to try shape these pieces to be like the foil, starting with the mast. Oh, 
Yeah. Check that out. <laughs> we did it. So these are all the cardboard pieces for the foil. But I noticed after shaping them, they've kind of lost a little bit of their strength. So they're a little bit more flexy. So I'm going to fiberglass them. There we go, all the pieces of fiberglass. At this point, the foil's pretty much done. But that's when I got a totally unexpected, not planned text from my friends at Red Bull. To which I replied, no, not really, it's cool. It's, it, it's all right, yeah, it's fine. Just jokes! But here's the thing, I learned how to dock start the foil, so I've never actually ridden it on any waves or in the ocean. So to test this thing out on waves, we have to find someone to help us. Oh look, they have this picture of a guy foil boarding in the airport. That's sick. It's not as cool as a cardboard one though. This guy can shred the cardboard foil. So the goal became to find the guy in the picture to test the cardboard foil. If anyone can ride this thing, it'll be him. We had to do some final touches on the board as soon as we got to Hawaii, and then it was complete. It was looking good. Now all we have to do is find the guy from the picture. But first, I have to pick up my girlfriend from the airport. She should be coming through any moment. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Look at that cool James Bond style. Oh my god! <laughs> Probably the best way to arrive to the airport. So the search was on. We decided to just drive around the island and check out all the spots to see if he was just, I don't know, hanging out. We drove to the top of the hill. No luck there. We went to a few beaches, but couldn't find him. We went e-foiling, still no luck. We really looked everywhere for this guy. Where could he be? Excuse me, mister. I know why you're here. Come with me. Why'd you bring me here? The one you seek. Surf but where can I, I find him? Have you, been to, have you been to Jaws? So we went to Jaws and he wasn't there either. At this point, I was starting to think we would never find him. And then... Oh, hey David. Why the long face? Oh, hey Kyle Lenny. Champion surfer, waterman extraordinaire. <laughs> This is the board that I've been working on for the past however long since I saw you last. Yeah, since we were in yeah. Bali, you're like, would you try a cardboard foil and a cardboard board? My thoughts were absolutely, but I didn't think you'd actually come through yeah, with yeah. it so quickly. <laughs> I mean, it looks a little rough for sure. Probably one of the rougher pull. However, you just don't know. This thing could just be magic. Is the future not carbon fiber, but cardboard? Foil ideally is as stiff as possible. Well, we're not off to a great start. You know, this 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 flex here is good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how do you think it's gonna go? The sea state right now is pretty agitated. It's yeah. pretty rough. The For chances rough of being impaled by this are high. However, if I pick the right wave, I may be able to ride it as far as I can and potentially pump back out. Now, this is quite wishful thinking. There he goes. Oh man, I really hope this works. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, I didn't get up. Oh, oh, it. oh it's peeing. <laughs> it looks like the Holotech cardboard board is filled up with water. This board probably weighs 40 pounds. Okay. Couldn't tell if I could foil or not because I was like, man, I paddling super slow. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go grab my carbon fiber high-tech board and we'll put the foil on that. So we transferred the cardboard hydrofoil on a Kai's board. Oh, 
but sadly, frighteningly similar result. Please, please get up, please, please. At this point, I had no idea what to do. Was that it? Did I travel all the way to Hawaii for it not to work? I was really starting to lose hope. But then Kai suggested this. I think we could force it to happen, maybe using the wind by flying a kite or... Or... Yeah, what could we use? The sea doo 300 horsepower. You know how to drive one of these things? Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Sounds really confident. Alright, here we go. This is it. Alright, this is the moment of truth. This is the last shot. If this doesn't work, it's never gonna work. Let's see it, Kai. Alright, let's do it. And for all the haters out there that are complaining that I made it out of fiberglass and cardboard, here's what I made fully out of cardboard. <laughs>